They chilled cannabis all over them. But if you go to the Basilica, you'll find some. So when we bless this cannabis, if you want your cannabis to be blessed too, whatever your understanding of the sacred or the divine or your connection to each other, love as a religion, if you put your cannabis up and we bless it, it will be religious use. And then the First Amendment says they can't prefer my religion to yours. So, when we bless the cannabis, I'd like everyone to hold it up and just pray however you understand goodness. And as the countdown begins, hi, I'm Alan Gordon. I'm canon to Deaconess Anne. That kind of means I'm her assistant. For those of you who don't know us, there's cannabis all through the Bible in its original languages. It's called cannibalism in Hebrew. It's all through the Bible from beginning to end. We challenged the federal government in court. After about, about a dozen arrests, we got some recognition from the federal government and three states. We don't give up. This is religious cannabis, and you don't have to join our church to have our right. This cannabis is all blessed. Even an atheist gets You can't give a right to someone in church and not give it to an atheist. That would violate the Establishment Clause. Deaconess, please bless this cannabis. This is Adam. cannabis. Adam. This is cannabis, the tree of life. The tree in Revelation 22.2 given to us for the healing of the nations. Anyone who comes to partake in good faith has a blessing of the Almighty. Amen. 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 How's our time? I think we're good. Let's light up. Let's light up. Five, four, three, two, one. Yeah.